As you guys know, I have been decluttering my closet for what seems like forever. And I recently came across some basic tees that have seen better days and I had to throw them out. It was time to get new ones. So I thought that this would be the perfect time to do a little experiment to see if the more expensive basic tees are really worth the money. And let me just say, I did not know t-shirts could be this expensive. And I'm really wondering for what? But before we get into the video, if you're new here, my name is Passion. I make lifestyle videos and vlogs. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Now let's get into the video. Here we have all of the t-shirts. I got them all in the same color just to keep things sort of similar. They're not in the same cut, but about the same color. So it's where we are. So we're gonna start at the cheapest and work our way up to the most expensive shirt. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So the first shirt that we have is only $5 and it's from Target. We love Target. I typically get a lot of my basics from Target, so had to include it. And at only $5, I feel like it's a steal. And I got the shirt in a size small. So here we have the Target shirt. And specifically, this is the A New Day Women's Short Sleeve Scoop Neck T-shirt and it is 50% cotton and 50% modal. And honestly, this is a really good shirt. I will say that it is a tad bit see-through, so there is that. For other colors, you may not have that problem, but for the white tee, it is a little bit. So just something to note. Um, I do like the scoop neck feature of the shirt as well, and it feels very breathable, very light, and I would pick this shirt up again, especially for only five dollars. <laughs> Moving on to our next t-shirt is from Madewell. It's 1950 and I got it in a size medium. So this is the Whisper Cotton V-neck tee and it is 50% organic cotton and 50% conventional cotton. So I will say the shirt does feel good. It feels like one of those shirts that you've had forever and you have worn a million times. It's just It just has that lived in feel to it which I absolutely love about it. Again, this shirt is a little bit see-through, so there is that. But with all of that being said, I will say that I would probably pick up the Target shirt over this one. But I think that this is still a really good shirt and I would probably pick up some more. Yeah, I do not regret purchasing this t-shirt at all. Our next shirt coming in at $28 is from Everlane and I got this in a size small. So this is the Air Oversized Crew Tee and it is 100% cotton and it has got to be the most comfortable t-shirt out of all the three that I've tried so far. Hands down, probably my favorite of the three. So not taking into account the style of it and the fit of it because they all are a little bit different, but just the feel of the shirt. You know how I said the Madewell one feels like it was lived in? This one even more so feels that way. Like it's not structured, it's not stiff, it's very relaxed and I absolutely love it. It feels like a dream. It really does. But I will say that this shirt is the most see-through out of all three so far. So that is something to note. You would just have to make sure you're wearing a bra that matches your skin tone in order to wear this shirt. But I absolutely love it. It's everything. It is everything. Like when I think of a basic white t-shirt, like this is exactly how I want it to feel and how I kind of want it to look. <laughs> Next up, coming in at $42, we have this shirt from Skims and I got it in a size small. Hi, so you know how I said the last shirt was the softest? This one is definitely the softest. So this is the boyfriend t-shirt from Skims and it is 47% cotton, 48% modal, and 5% spandex. And I love this shirt. I did not want to like the more expensive shirts, but holy cow, I love this shirt. It is so freaking soft, you guys. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I put it on and was instantly like, I have never felt anything like this before in my life. Like, 
excuse me, I don't know what they did with this shirt, but they did what they needed to do. So I will say that this is the only shirt that isn't like a pure white. It's more off-white than anything. And I checked the side again. This is like the whitest color that they have. But that's fine for me. Just know that you aren't gonna get anything pure white if you're looking for it. Another thing to note is that since it is 5% spandex, it does have that stretch to it, which is always great to have in my opinion. It is a little bit see-through. Personally, I think that it is the least see-through out of all the ones that I've tried on. So take with that as you will. Is it worth the $42 that I paid for it? I mean, I'd love to have only paid like 30 for it, but I get it. I totally understand why it is the price that it is. And last but not least, the most expensive shirt coming in at $58 is this shirt from Lululemon. I got it in a size four. And finally, we have the All Yours tee. And this t-shirt is 94% Pima cotton. 6% Lycra Elastane. So I will say about this shirt, it's not as soft as the skim shirt, but it is right up there. Like these two shirts, definitely the two softest of them all. Again, a little bit see-through. You can solve that easily. Yeah, I just don't think I would pay $58 for the shirt though. That's that's my thing. It, it just, it's a great shirt. It feels amazing. And it's like, oh, I'm glad I have it, but I also pay $58 for it. And it just doesn't feel like a $58 shirt. So <laughs> $58, just, just not doing it for me. It's not doing it for me. So if I had to rank all of the shirts, I think I would put the skim shirt at number one, it was really good. It was really good. <laughs> and I did not want to like it because it's $42 for a shirt, you know? But it was, it was good, it was good. So after Skims, I think I would put Everlane. It has that perfect lived in feel to it. And it's at what I consider to be the top end of what I would spend on a shirt, even though it's weird because the Skims shirt is first, so. So Skims Everlane, and then after Everlane, I think I will put the Target shirt, just because at $5, you cannot beat that. It is, it's so good. It's so good, you guys. And then after the Target shirt, I would put the Lululemon shirt because it was really, really, really soft, but paying over $50 for a basic white tee is just, is really hard to justify and honestly it didn't feel like it was an over $50 t-shirt you know like yes it was soft but I needed to wow me you know and after the Lululemon shirt I would put the Madewell shirt I'm not exactly sure what it was but something was just off about it it was still a really good shirt and priced reasonably but something something's off there so as you guys saw sometimes more expensive shirts are worth the price and sometimes a five dollar shirt is just as good and this was a really fun experiment to do just to see how different brands and different prices compare to one another and i would love to do another one if you guys have any other like experiments brand against brand sort of thing you want to see leave me a comment down below and i will definitely get to it. And with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.